Hi, my name is Caitlin Smith, and I am doing this research project under Dr. Swan. Um, today, I'm going to be explaining my research on does taste in music reflect your personality traits? So just a little background, pretty much. Um, my abstract is that Previous research relating personality and music preferences have often measured such reported preferences according to genre labels. To support previous research, the current research has expanded investigation of the relation between personality and music preferences. So um, my study with 98 participants measured the participants' personality and reported music preferences over a period of two weeks. Um, and then the results indicated that the reported music preferences do not actually correlate to the personality traits. So this is my table of contents. I'm first going to start with the introduction. I'm going to be talking about the hypothesis, the reasoning and objectives. Um, second, I will go over the methods and talking about the research parameters and then how I designed this, the number of subjects I had, and then I will go over my results, um, what I expected to come out of this, and then what actually was found. And then the conclusion is just to wrap it all up, um, giving my final statement of my results from what was found. So introduction. So for my hypothesis before um, I started working on this, after I came up with, with my question, it was that I believe that there was a correlation between music taste and personality traits. Um, my reasoning for this is because based on previous research um, that was found that I will talk about in just a second, um, it has to do with that and what they found from each of the five personality traits, which I will also go into more depth about. Um, they found pretty much similar things across from all researchers that I was previously previously looking at. Um, and so here are some of the people that I was looking at. Um, the first three found that the openness trait, there was a correlation um, between different music genres for conscientiousness. There was a negative correlation with reggae extroversion, there's a positive correlation of R&B and rap, agreeableness, positive correlation with country, folk, and pop, and neuroticism, positive correlation to punk and alternative music. For the middle one, they also found similar results as to the first three people. Um, extroverts favor popular music such as uh, rap, and then open individuals favor a wide range of music types. And then for the last one, those three individuals found that openness traits prefer reflective and complex music, meaning more like classical and then intense and rebellious music such as rock and heavy metal. Whereas the openness trait also dislikes upbeat and conventional types of music such as pop and then soundtrack or like today's hits type music. Extroverts prefer upbeat and conventional and energetic and rhythmic types of music. So hip hop and rap. Um, conscientiousness was negatively connected to INR, which is alternative rock and heavy metal, and then positively to UNC, which is pop, soundtrack, NGW, and PGM. Neuroticism was weakly correlated with UNC, which is opposite of um, conscientious conscientiousness. And then for agreeableness, um, there was no association with any type of music preferences. So these three studies that I talked about were three of the main ones um, that were found pretty similar results. Uh, so that's why I was going to base what I um, was doing in this study off of theirs to see if I could compare and see if we got similar results. So my objectives are the significance of this study is that music is easily able to be accessed due to media worldwide. Um, 
a lot of people use music in their daily lives and they can use that to either set a mood, work out when they're just driving in the car as a way to motivate or even gain inspiration. Um, so since it is all around us and it is easily access easily accessible, um, it seems significant that we would be able to determine if our music taste actually is a way that we could determine or even allow us to better understand if we are able to actually say that this music taste actually explains for the reason why we act and for the things that we do. The three goals of my study was one, to determine if the research that has been done is similar to my results, like stated before. I just wanna see if what I get from this, I am able to compare to the previous results and see if it is same or similar answers. Um, second one is to determine if people can use their personality to explain their music taste. Uh, that's pretty much the whole goal of this research assignment. And then my third one is to determine if music taste and personality traits reflect across different age groups. Um, I will explain in my methods, but I didn't have a set age limit for who was able to participate in my study. So I wanted to see if that would correlate with um, my results to see if it was different from like, younger teens to older adults. Next, I will go over my methods. Um, my subjects, I did have 98 participants. Um, as said before, this was both females and males, and they all were from a different range of ethnicity and as well as a range of different ages. For my procedure specifically, I focused on doing a survey. I combined two different um, surveys into one pretty much. And that was administered um, on a Facebook post that I made, pretty much just asking my friends and family to share this, um, saying that it was important and I needed it done for a class. I needed as many, as many participants as I could get. Um, and then there's just a link for them to take the survey, which debriefed them, explained what I was doing, and then um, also gave them a chance to enter in for a $10 Target gift card. So since my design is qualitative research, um, that is because it is based off of the two surveys. So I will be using both primary and secondary sources. And um, I didn't create my own survey. I based mine off of two famous ones. Um, so the first one it, for the personality test is called the Big Five Personality Test. And then um, for the music preference, it's uh, a survey called Stomp, which means short term of music preference. Um, I used both of these, which was, it just gave options and then they had to use a Likert scale on a scale of one to seven, which was dislike, like, and then very much to answer each of the options. This also is a correlational research design because I am wanting to measure the relationship between personality traits and music taste and to find out if there is a positive or negative correlation between any of the music preferences um, to the five personality traits, which I will go further into in a second. So for the big five personality test, um, it gives you a score on exactness for openness, conscientiousness, extroversion, agreeableness, and neuroticism. Um, all you have to do, like I said, is you rate each statement according to how well it describes you and then based on your ratings or how you really are, not how you would like to be. So to further those five personality traits, openness is how open a person is to new ideas and experiences. Conscientiousness is how goal-directed, persistent, and organized a person is. 
Extroversion is how much a person is energized by the outside world. Agreeableness is how much a person puts others' interests and needs ahead of their own. Neuroticism is how sensitive a person is to stress and negative emotional triggers. Um, for that second survey that focuses on music preferences called Stomp, it's a 14-item scale that assesses preferences in music genres. It assesses four broad music preference dimensions. Um, which is what I was going to use to compare to the personality test. Some factors to consider are the coronavirus. Um, we are in the middle of a pandemic. So we had to do all of our research, um, collecting our data all online, instead of being able to do anything in person, just because we obviously don't want to contract anything. Um, I also put social media on there because since the coronavirus, we have to use social media as a way to reach out to our peers and other individuals. Um, for me, since I didn't have a specific age group that I was focusing on, it does allow for me to get a few more participants than some other individuals, but some people may think that taking my survey is a waste of time or just something that doesn't feel like they pertain to them. So that could be a reason or a cause as to why I didn't get as many participants as I would have liked. And then the amount of time we had to fit all of this into one semester. Most um, experiments are done or even any research is done over a longer period of time. Um, we have to obviously learn all the basics and how to even get our results and what we need to do. So we have only a few short weeks where we are able to actually collect this data, which could also be a factor as to why I am not able to have as many participants as I would like. So here are two graphs of my results. The first one is on the music taste, and then my other one is personality traits. Um, for my x-axis, each one is the music taste and then the personality traits, and then my y-axis is the Likert scale. Um, I decided to do a histogram to better show the difference between each one. Um, you can see on both graphs that there are a couple outliers. Um, it looks like for the music taste, that it's the rock and then the rap. And then for personality traits, it is dependable, self-discipline and sympathetic warm that are showing those outliers. So overall, um, my results are obviously not what I expected. So I have to fail to reject my hypothesis. Um, there was not a correlation between personality traits and music preferences, which could be because of those factors that I stated before. Um, so since this wasn't what I expected with my results, because I did believe that I thought I would see a correlation, just like my other previous research. Um, but as you can see from my results that there wasn't a correlation between either of them. And then here is my bibli bibliography from everything that I have found to collect all my data.